Let's go over this Ryobi HP Compact Brushless Drill Driver. This line of tools is more than capable of doing your professional homeowner or DIY projects around your house. This also isn't bad for a professional contractor as a backup, and this is more than capable of doing what you want this to do. The capability of this drill driver ranges from five inch ladder locks, eight inch timber locks, one and a quarter inch speed bores, one and a half inch speed bores, which is a very tough task by the way. It has a single LED light on the base. It has two speed modes. It is a half inch fully metal chuck with a plastic housing. And on speed two, it goes up to 1700 RPM. There's also a variable speed trigger. And Ryobi does have my favorite handle along with the grip. And this Ryobi Compact HP brushless drill driver is worth your purchase. If you guys need a drill driver for a great cost, bam. And there are so many batteries you can actually use this with. We use the two amp hour HP battery in this video. Ryobi makes more powerful batteries, but this is the average battery people will use. And there you go. Right, let's go over this 12 volt power bank that Hilti just made for their customers. And I think that this was a fantastic idea for them to make. There is an LED light on there with a USB-C and regular USB. It does have a belt clip. I was seriously wondering why Hilti made these because it really isn't their forte. After exploring the Hilti website for a while, I actually understood because they have a lot of iPads and devices on the website now. And I bet you a lot of people were saying that they needed a, a power source for their individual uh, iPad units or a phone or whatever. And it is a nice little power bank. I seriously do love this thing. Uh, I do love the light. That's a good feature to have in case you need it because, you know, you have a battery on there already. Video is sponsored by Hilti, by the way. Uh, Hilti did not send me these. I bought these. Uh, these are only $32 each. I bought two of them just because I seriously love having 12-volt portable power banks. I have been using the Milwaukee M12 power bank for a while, but when it comes to the size of these, you can see I wanted a smaller power bank. I've been using this one for years. Uh, the USB cable actually needs to be curved straight, and I'm not a fan of that. I like the USB ports sticking out so I don't have to curve it at all. You guys can see why I wanted a different USB power bank because of the size and this thing rolls. So I'm not a fan of that, so I'm glad Hilti made these. There is nothing wrong with this uh, USB power bank for Milwaukee. This does have a double purpose because this also charges the M12 heated gear which i'm actually wearing now and this has a usb micro and a regular usb uh regular usb uh there's nothing wrong with this i uh use this for a different purpose instead of charging stuff but i am glad that hilti made a power bank with a belt clip all right you guys let's go over the new flex deck units now we are going to do the small unit in this video because i've actually been using these for the past while since i bought them since they were on sale i got this for 22 dollars seriously wanted to get these because i love organization and i really wanted to keep all my testing stuff in one spot so i don't have to go around looking for everything and so i've been using these for the past while and i find these very handy i love the color i love the design I love the compartments inside, and I did use the Milwaukee Packout for a little bit, but I'm just not a big enough fan of the Milwaukee Packout because I'm not, I don't like the way that the Milwaukee Packout locks together. Just like the DeWalt Tussis and 2.0 and other brands, I do not find it an inconvenience to actually flip that up to actually lock it into place. And of course, the same thing on the bigger units to lock these into place on that. Love the stack pack by Flex. I do. I seriously wanted to get these the, the moment that they announced them, and I did. So these are very helpful. These are useful, and they are tough. They really are. And I did do a test video, and I threw it off of the roof, and the unit that I threw off the roof landed on the handle and that will break any unit from any brand because that is the most weakest part and bam and flex also has accessories that you can actually attach to these units so you can make your units more useful and once i get all of the units i will actually be buying more accessories and to completely do a setup so I do love the flex stack pack stuff. So I want to go over my favorite tool ever made. I wish I had this back in the day, back in the early 2000s. This thing is a powerful mamba jamma when it comes to a 12 volt screwdriver. For a 12 volt tool, it's very powerful. It's capable of doing eight inch timber locks and more and everything below it. It's seriously a powerful tool. It is my go-to 
This is my only tool that I reach for to do most tasks. And if I need something a little bit more powerful, I get an impact driver. I've been using this for the past, I'd say three to four years. And I seriously wish I had this back in the day. So this has a 15 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill. It's a quarter inch X collet, two LED beams on the base, and it has a belt clip. Of course, it's variable trigger along with a speed selector. So it is a powerful tool and I highly recommend this tool big time if you're a professional homeowner. This thing is a bad mamma jamma. Let's go over this flex impact driver. Now when it comes to professional grade impact drivers, they only need to do a certain amount of things. And this impact driver is more than capable of doing an eight inch timber lock and a four inch by half inch lag within seconds. Anything more than that, you use an impact wrench because you'll just break whatever adapter you're using. And this impact driver has the power. So the model number for this is FX1371A, quarter inch hex collet. It goes up to 4,000 RPMs, multiple speed selections, one, two, and three. It also has two modes for screwing and it has a single LED light on the base. Flex upgraded their batteries to the stack lithium uh, battery line. And you guys also know the DeWalt power stack battery. Flex made the same thing. Other tool brands need to catch up with that. Every Flex tool that I bought and tested out actually did extremely well in the videos. So I do, I do recommend Flex for a professional grade tool. That's pretty much it for this episode, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.